A gay and lesbian group that's trying to end what it calls religious intolerance is at Liberty University this afternoon. Soul Force has come to LU in the past, but their visits have not always gone smoothly. In 2006, more than 20 members of the group were arrested when they crossed onto LU property without permission. Today's event was a little bit different. News 7's Tim Saunders was there. Tim, how did the school community react this time around? Well, unlike before, Gene, Soul Force was allowed on campus. In fact, students and faculty even lined up to welcome them. From the moment they pulled up, Soul Force was drawing a crowd. Most at LU knew the group was coming, so as members climbed off the bus, they were greeted with handshakes. I wanted you guys to know that, um, that I love all of my students, and even those who struggle with homosexuality, I, I believe that they feel safe and loved here. So, What about those um, who don't struggle? Um, I, they're loved, too. Helping gay students feel safe at religious schools is what Soul Force is trying to promote. Their equality ride is at LU to talk with students about what it means to be gay and religious. Sexuality, gender, religion, these are really important matters and we're here at Liberty University today to have those really important conversations. There was plenty of dialogue with students, but Soul Force took it a step further, going on campus. Hi. Hi. Um, can I have a book donation form? and giving books on faith and sexuality to the LU library. I think that having at least one affirming book on that campus will make all the difference. As demonstrators make their way across campus, the scene garners a lot of attention from students, both for and against the visit. Quality ride, I think if they want to come to university, I think they should respect the institution. No matter what you believe in, no matter what your views are on it, you should greet it with love and acceptance, and I think that's going to get you way farther than judgment and hatred the first stop on this year's Equality Ride, they'll visit 14 more schools over the next 50 days. And as for those books they donated, Gene, a committee will review them to see if they meet the school's curriculum before they go up on library shelves. Hmm, I'm sure they will. All right, Tim Saunders from Lynchburg. Thanks for that story today.